Hi everyone. This is Shogi lesson number 21. Today I'll talk about how to start and end a game. What I'm going to tell you here is a traditional way of doing it. So if you're playing Shogi just for fun, you don't necessarily have to do it exactly as I tell you here. But anyway, I'll show you the traditionally proper way of proceeding the game, okay? Okay, so let's say you prepare the board, the stands, and the pieces in the piece box. Oh, by the way, maybe you've never seen this, but there are also this kind of piece box. See? We use this when we display our collection of pieces. Oh, and actually, you don't necessarily need the stands to play the game right. You can just put the pieces in hand somewhere near the board. But it's better if you have them. Now, when you play Shogi, you have to select the player who leads the proceedings. Let's suppose the player who leads it sits on this side and let's call him player A for now and let's call the other player B now how do we select player A? well usually the superior of the two will be player A superior player means stronger player higher ranked player or elder player for example in a professional title match the defending champion will be player A and the challenger B. Or if a father plays shogi with his son and teaches him, the father will be player A. Now, first, you usually make a simple bow and then player A opens the box. And sometimes they're in a piece bag, like this. So, opens it, and spreads the pieces on the board. At this moment, player B cannot touch the pieces yet. He must wait for player A to start sitting up. So, first of all, player A finds his king here, without a dot here. Not the one with the dot. This one is for player B. And he puts in on its square. You can feel some solemnity in it, don't you? And after that, player B may now toss the pieces and start setting up, beginning from his king. And also, there's a traditional way of setting up the pieces in order. There are two styles for that. One is Ohashi's style, and the other is Ito's style. First, I'll show you Ohashi's style, which is more popular. First, you put the king. And then the left gold. right gold and the left silver right silver and left knight right knight left lance right lance and then the bishop the rook 
And finally, you place the palm from the center. And left, right, to the left, and right. All right, now I'll show you Ito's style with player B. It's same as Ohashi's style. Until you set up the knights. But after that, it's different. You place the pawns from the left. And then the lance is the left and right. And finally, the bishop and the rook. It is said that Ito's style is meant to be such that the ranging pieces, lance, bishop and rook, won't even virtually attack the opponent's piece so as to express your respect to the opponent. You see, if you put them before the pawns, you see, they virtually attack your opponent, right? I kind of like this idea of Ito's style, and I often use it. Okay, let's get back to player A. Uh, usually, you'll have one pawn left. It's a spare, in case you've lost one. So player A puts it back in the bag and put it away. Okay, after you've set up, let's decide who plays black. To do that, player A picks up these five pawns and shuffle and throw it. It's called Hurigoma Peace Toss. And if the number of the pawns with unpromoted side is larger than those with promoted side, player A will play black. And if contrary, player B will be black. So in this case, player A will be black. If the pawn goes like this, this, or this, or uh, like this, or this, it's rare, we don't count it. But if it goes just like this, we count it, even if it's outside the board. And you see, if the numbers are equal, like 2 versus 2, he tosses them again, okay? Okay, then he puts the pawns back. Now, we make greetings before starting the game. We say, Yoroshiku onegaishimasu, and make a bow. We use this word in many, many kinds of situations in Japanese, but, well, it's very, very difficult to translate to English. Oh, actually, I thought Korean has an exactly same greetings as this. Uh, I think it was Chao Putak Hamnida. But I don't think any other languages have this kind of greeting. Literal translation would be something like, I'm asking for your favors, or 
I hope to rely on your support. It sounds strange when it's translated, right? So maybe you can say it in Japanese. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. But maybe it's too long and hard to pronounce, so you can make it short by saying just the latter part. Onegaishimasu. Or why not say just good luck, as you do in Western chess. So, after you made greetings, Black makes his first move. Uh, which was Black here? Uh, was it player A? Oh, I thought I was going to talk about how to start and end a game. But it seems to take more time than I thought, so I'll explain how to end a game in the next video. So thanks for watching.